Time for the big one then, the world's favourite race, the Grand National. Not the race it was, is it? Let's face it, with the fences modified last year, we saw Tiger Roll, little Tiger Roll, go through every fence there was. On the second circuit, there was nothing left. So basically, what you need this year is an out-and-out -out stayer because, simply, it's almost like a hurdle race. And fences and hurdles, you need to stay more over hurdles over three miles. So it's going to be an out-and-out -out slog. The race totally revolves around Tiger Roll again. Yes, he's up nine pounds, but he's eight pound ahead of the handicapper because of that romp in the festival. If you could pick in holes in a seven to two shot, there are plenty. It's a shorter break this year between Cheltenham and Aintree. Did his national look all that good on paper afterwards? Probably not, but that Galmoy hurdle win, it was absolutely sensational. It basically revolves around whether you want to take a price or not. On him becoming the first horse since the 70s to do a red run. Everything's in place, isn't it? One horse that's going to have a big say against him is obviously Rath Vinden, last year's four mile winner. Now he's an out and out stayer. Willie Mullins just pit by Tiger Roll last year with Pleasant Company. Every chance, I think, despite just the one run, albeit a win, Ruby Walsh, loads and loads to like. Are there any more coming in? There are. Joe Farrell, what a gamble he's been. Scottish national winner last time. Quietly came back to form at Newbury last time. He sneaked in down the bottom of the weights. If it becomes too much of a slog, those are above 11 stone, they're going to struggle. Joe Farrell could be the one. New and existing Coral customers will get a completely free £1 bet to use on the Grand National. The smart money's on Coral.